Hey, this is Dr. Barry. In this short video, I want to talk to you about seven ways to naturally increase the testosterone level of a man. And also at the end, I'm going to include one bonus tip on how to do this as well. Now, if you're a man, you want to have your testosterone levels optimized. You want them to be as high as you can get them naturally. Some men even need to use exogenous testosterone that they get from their doctor. Hopefully, if you follow these seven steps and the bonus step at the end, you'll be able to keep your testosterone in the upper limit of normal and not have to use exogenous testosterone. Now, if you're a woman and you have a man who seems fatigued and tired all the time, who's not getting his honeydew list accomplished, who is laying around on the couch or in the recliner way too much, he may be suffering from low T. If he's not interested in hobbies that he once was interested in, either in the bedroom or out of the bedroom, he may have low T. It's your job as a woman to figure out a way to strategically, yet diplomatically and lovingly share this video with him so that he can benefit from optimizing his testosterone or vitamin T, and you might benefit from it as well. So if you know a guy like that, figure out a way to share this with him without hurting his feelings. Now, Let's talk about the seven natural ways that you can optimize your testosterone level without having to go to the doctor for testosterone. Now, there are actually three concepts that are going to encompass everything I'm talking about in this short video. We want to increase your testosterone level to the upper limit of normal. Okay, so you want your testosterone level, you don't want it to be 100 or 150 or 200. You want it to be 700, 800, 900. That's, that's uh, concept one. Concept two is, is that you want your testosterone receptors to be very res receptive to testosterone. So you want the testosterone to fit easily in the receptor. And there are some of the things on this list that if you don't follow them, it'll make your receptors resistant to the test testosterone and they just won't fit in there properly. And then the third concept, concept is that there are things that I'll talk about that can make you resistant to testosterone or, or almost act as an estrogen or be estrogen-like. And a man doesn't need much estrogen at all or anything that is acting estrogen-like in his body. Now, here we go with the list. Number one, and most importantly, spend most of your time and most of your money here, is eat enough fat. Testosterone, the molecule, comes from a molecule you may have heard of before called cholesterol. It is the backbone of all the sex hormone molecules. Without cholesterol, you can't make testosterone. So stop being afraid of fat. If you're a vegan, perhaps reconsider that. You have to eat fat. You have to eat cholesterol. You have to eat good animal fats in order to optimize your testosterone. When you eat enough fat, you're going to produce cholesterol. Now, your body does make cholesterol every day. That's absolutely true. But if you can help it along by eating a little extra cholesterol, we now know that the cholesterol theory of heart disease is dumb. It's over. The, it's had its heyday and it's over. We all know it's not true. So now that you're not afraid of cholesterol anymore, you can eat enough fat so that you can actually bump up your testosterone level a little with tip number one. Tip number two is you need to greatly reduce the amount of sugar, starch, and simple carbohydrates that you eat. When you eat sugar, starches, or simple carbohydrates, that elevates your insulin level. It shoots up. And when your insulin level is up, that's going to tend to decrease your testosterone level. And so sitting around eating uh, Skittles or M&Ms or gummy bears is not very manly for more reasons than one. They'll lower your testosterone. OK, tip number three is you've got to, got to, got to decrease the stress in your life. Now, I don't mean good stress. If you're an entrepreneur and you own a business and you're trying to make that successful, that's a good stress. That's good. Now, you need to find ways to manage that stress so that it doesn't become chronic bad stress. But you don't, you've got to decrease the bad stress in your life. So if you're working two jobs, both of which you hate, if you're working a shift work job you hate, if you're in a relationship that, that just you hate, you've got to get rid of those things in your life that cause chronic stress that you feel like you can't really do anything about because that's going to raise your cortisol level. And when you raise your cortisol level, that's going to lower your testosterone level. And it's also going to make the testosterone harder to fit in the receptor. OK, so you don't want your cortisol to be elevated at all if you can help it. The next is 
high intensity interval training. That's tip number four. You you want to you want to emulate your caveman grandparents from. 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 years ago. You want to lift heavy every now and then. You want to run as fast as you can every now and then. And if you, when you finish this video, if you'll just search in YouTube for high intensity interval training or HIIT, you'll find all kinds of videos that, that you can watch. And you'll realize you don't have to join the gym to do this. You can literally get up off the, the couch and you can go outside in your running shoes and you can do high intensity interval training. And that's going to do two things for you. It's going to raise your testosterone level, but it's also going to elevate your HGH or human growth hormone level. You may have heard of that before and you're like, wait a minute, that sounds like something I want. And you're right. There are guys who pay $1,000 a month for HGH injections. But you can raise yours naturally just by going outside and breaking a sweat. It can be for free, okay? You can go outside and do 100 jumping jacks or run 40, four or five 40 yard sprints, right? Or you can go and lift some heavy weight, being careful with your mechanics so you don't hurt your back. But you've got to lift heavy and run fast. That's going to naturally raise your testosterone level for free. Now, tip number five is some supplements you'll want to know about. The first one is zinc. Zinc is very important for men. We need somewhere between 25 and 50 milligrams a day. You can definitely get that from the foods you eat if, you're, if you strategically eat certain foods, or you can just take a supplement that's 25 or 50 milligrams a day. And what that does is it helps push anything that bleeds over into the estrogen pathway back into the testosterone pathway, right? The next is magnesium. There are several studies that show that that enough magnesium will raise your testosterone level a little bit. And then the third one is vitamin D. Go out in the sun and get some vitamin D. And if you can't get sun, then take a good quality vitamin D supplement. Vitamin D is actually a pro-hormone or a pre-hormone. It helps all of your sex hormones and your other hormones to form. And so it's actually going to increase your testosterone level if your vitamin D level is optimized. The next is tip number six intermittent fasting. And you're like, wait a minute, not eating will raise my testosterone? Yeah. More than one study has shown that when you intermittent fast for 18 to 20 hours a day, you actually increase both your testosterone and your HGH. There's that one again. So your human growth hormone and your testosterone level both go up when you fast. And there's a reason that the 18 hour fast or the 20 hour fast every day is called the warrior diet because it helps make you a better warrior by raising your testosterone and your HGH. Number seven is lose some weight. If you're overweight at all, the adipose tissue on your body and especially the adipose tissue inside your belly that kind of gives you that pot belly is going not only lower your testosterone level, but adipose tissue inside your belly acts like estrogen, basically. It's more complicated than that, but it's very estrogen-like in the way it affects the human male body, okay? And now, if you're ready, I'm going to tell you the bonus tip, tip number eight free of charge, is you've got to get the xenoestrogens out of your life. What the heck is a xenoestrogen? There's a huge list that I'm going to link down to, in a, to a really great book down in the notes below, but basically you don't ever want to drink or eat anything that is in plastic if it's hot. So if you left your water bottle in the truck and it's, it's 120 degrees in there, don't drink that water, okay? That is going to have estrogen mimicking plastics in the water. Don't heat up your coffee in styrofoam or a plastic cup. Don't put your soup in a plastic bowl and put it in the microwave. Men need to eat and drink out of glass or stainless steel, okay, or ceramic or something like that. Never do you eat or drink anything hot or even warm out of plastic because it's it acts like an estrogen in your body and high estrogen has the exact same effects as low testosterone so bonus tip is get the xenoestrogens out of your life and look for the link to the book down below if you're more interested in how to get rid of them because plastics are in our life they're they're uh, ubiquitous they're everywhere plastic in your clothes plastic on the couch plastic in the carpet plastic in your car seats 
But there are ways that you can fight against these xenoestrogens, basically, or things that act like estrogen in your body. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please take a second and click the subscribe button. And then there's a little button right beside it that looks like a bell. If you click that, you'll get a notification every time I have a bright idea. I don't take a penny from corporations. I don't uh, take a, a penny from sponsors. I've had multiple people try to sponsor my channel with exogenous ketones or with this or with that or this drug or whatever. I don't take any of that crap. I tell them where they can stick it, okay? So if you'd like to help me have more time to make more videos just like this, you can click on my Patreon link down below. You can sign up very quickly and you can throw a buck or two my way. Okay, there's the seven natural ways that you can increase your testosterone level plus a bonus eighth way. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.